this is Dr. John Grimhall talking. We have Bettina Torres as our guest tonight, who's a Beamer trainer and user. Uh, we have Clark Tilly running the mic and things like that, and of course uh, Doug Grant of OHS is sitting in the background. So let me just briefly uh, tell you my experience with that. Those of you who know me know I have about every toy that you could possibly have. I have a PEMF, I have a uh, hyperbaric chamber, I have body lights for body contouring, I have uh, electrodiagnostic units, uh, some of them cost 40 to 45000 I have seven different lasers from four different companies. And so when a good friend of mine, Kevin Jellerson, told me that, well, you've got to look at this Beamer, I thought, you know, I don't need to look at anything. I mean, what could I possibly need or, or have that I don't already have in all the tools that I have? But he and I worked together for some time with one of the laser companies, became good friends, and he said, it's, I'm telling you, you've seen nothing like this. And I have to admit, I really had not. And uh, I was just telling Dr. Brett tonight, who had another meeting, he's going to get the recording on this, that it is amazing the differences in the Beamer than anything else I have seen or done. And I love the toys I have. I wouldn't get rid of any of them. Some of them, uh, uh, PEMF actually kept me out of surgery after a, a fracturing my back in a rollover accident here four and a half years ago. But this absolutely increases the microcirculation. I'll let Bettina tell you exactly how that works better than I. But you need, for yourself, you need to try this out. You need to see it. You need to experience it. And it's easier to sell than a bottle of vitamins. All you have to do is let anybody try it out. Uh, I was at a teaching seminar this weekend, and we have some brand new nutrition out that's homeopathic that helps to pull out heavy metals and helps to pull out the toxins like uh, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, uh, different things like that that we're developing through HS. It's very exciting. And uh, yet I would test people and find all the reflexes were off and which areas they were toxic to. I would put them on the beamer and then go back and test. When I did that, the reflexes were gone. Those of you who understand AK, you can do a temporal tap, and anything you just covered up in the surface would come back. It did not come back. On about eight out of nine patients that I would check, the reflexes went away. They were gone. There was actually healing that took place in there where you could not bring them up in any way. So we have found this is really a wonderful complement to our nutrition. If I'm working on somebody that's really difficult, whether it's a migraine or whatever, I'll pull out the toxins with the homeopathic and put them on the beamer because it increases the circulation into the area and then hauls the toxins off. So with that, I mean, uh, I've been treating patients every day with it and my whole family. And, and needless to say, I, I'm excited. That's why we decided to do this. So, Bettina, let me turn the time over to you and you run with it. Well, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me, and I, I really do hope that all the information that people receive tonight is of value to them, for the medical practitioners on uh, the call, as well as all the other countless individuals that are interested in their health and are just looking for better options. So let me introduce myself first. Um, uh, my name is Bettina Torres. I'm an organizational manager for Beamer USA. I'm also the proprietor or owner of Regeneration Point, which is a facility in Spokane, Washington that I opened because I had these really profound experiences with the Beamer technology. Um, it all started in 2006 when I was visiting my family in Germany and uh, my aunt had this device at home and it introduced me to the Beamer uh, with the words, this is the best investment I've ever made. And uh, needless to say, a car crash that she barely survived in 1983 had left her with trigeminal neuralgia and migraine headaches for over 20 years she was suffering and then she was introduced by a German doctor to this device and she, her life, her quality of life changed, it improved and she managed everything just by using Beamer. Um, this is my lovely aunt, uh, that was in 2012, she came to visit us for the very first time. She's a very vibrant woman, she's 78 and uh, I cannot believe like the rate she's going still. Um, the second story, why I opened up my facility, is this lady's story, and uh, I have to really point this out because it's a really poor quality picture. You're looking at a person with MS and scoliosis, and um, that's my mother-in-law, and that's her head. You're looking at her from the front. MS has a terrible fatigue involved, and with that, the scoliosis became worse and worse, and she became so curved over that if you saw her walking away from you, basically you couldn't see her head. And fast forward, despite 
all the predictions from all the doctors she had in her life. I, we brought her to our home, and I used the beamer continuously with her. In one week's time, I had her climbing stairs with me. And uh, by January, uh, exactly a year later, I was the same person that was able now to exercise. And this is at my facility. I use special exercise equipment there in, con in addition with the beamer. So needless to say, I'm from my own personal experiences, I suffered from arthritis. I started using the Beamer in 2007, early 2007. So for over eight years, I do not have to uh, depend on pain medications. I do not get cortisone shots. Neither do I have to have further surgeries. And so I'm really, really thankful that I have this technology in my life. And from the countless experiences that I've now seen at Regeneration Point, I have to tell you, this is probably the most significant health innovation that I will come across in my lifetime, and probably many of you as well. And uh, um, I'm forever grateful that I'm involved with this really incredible company. So. What is Beamer, physical vascular therapy Beamer? Um, well, the effect is on microcirculation. And uh, microcirculation functioning uh, will re reduce our susceptibility to infection. It will strengthen the body's physical defenses and better blood supply, supply and detoxification of organs and tissues is possible with good microcirculation. Uh, it reduces the effects of stress. Uh, supporting impaired healing processes, for sure. You need microcirculation for that. Better performance and capacity to perform shorter regeneration recovery periods and a much decreased risk of injury are possible with good microcirculation. So when you look at the influences today in our lives, uh, we're looking at so many people who are still eating horrible foods. Fast foods, it puts an enormous stress on our bodies. They're loaded full of toxins and uh, a lack of real, real good nutrients, uh, lots of noise levels all around us, environmental pollutants that we just cannot escape, lack of movement. Well, the average American, unfortunately, I have to say, moves about half a mile, and lots of stress. All these factors, overstimulation, will have a detrimental impact on our microcirculatory system. And this means uh, it really is a disturbance, right? Our health will suffer. Our well-being, our quality of life suffers. Our ability to self-heal suffers. Uh, we have a disturbed immune system because of all these stress factors. And we are looking at more frequent and longer sickness meaning chronic disease. That's just a simple fact. But in medicine, we also know something, that the body can regenerate itself, that age sick structures are broken down and replaced with new healthy cell structures, and they're built up again. So we regenerate. That is certainly possible. Uh, that enables our body to remain healthy, and we have this inner doctor that keeps our uh, homeostasis intact if the body gets what it needs and if we dispose of all the things that we really don't need. And we all know wounds and broken bones can heal, right? Inflammation can subside. And it all starts right here with the iceberg's principle where I always point out um, when we look at Western medicine, we really are addressing the human body right up here. We're looking at symptoms. And that is similar or equivalent to the tip of the iceberg. The iceberg um, is, however, only 7% of an entire iceberg. And here we're looking at uh, the body in terms of chemistry and mechanics and leaving something out of the equation, which is energy. So we need to look something at the bottom here where everything starts. And that is a circulatory disorder. Uh, if we do not get oxygen delivered to our cells, it will lead to an energy deficit. And energy is actually a physical molecule in every single cell it needs to be produced, and that is called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. This little molecule enables our body to achieve homeostasis by producing the correct amounts of uh, proteins. It, things can be upregulated, downregulated, but if this is continuously lacking because of oxygen lacking, that means our cells will not perform their task and eventually it will rise up to the area where we can feel something, where we have symptoms, where we feel pain. 
our body is comprised of about 100 to a trillion cells, and they all try to, to, to do their tasks. Uh, and in order to achieve homeostasis, we need to produce about 500 quadrillion proteins per second. Per second, that is. That's not a day. Per second, that allows our body to achieve homeostasis. Additionally, 21 sextillion chemical reactions need to take place per second again. And that's why we require such an enormous amount of energy. This ATP, we need to produce about 90 to 170 pounds per day in order to perform all these tasks. That's an enormous amount of a little molecule. And we don't store it, we use it up right away. And again, adenosine, triphosphate, that's what ATP stands for. That's our cellular energy that is in, produced in every single cell. So BMR has an impact on microcirculation. And uh, let's look at the site of action first. Our uh, cardiovascular system is comprised of big vessels and small vessels. The big vessels are arteries and veins, and combined, they make up 26% of the cardiovascular system. The rest of the system are small vessels. That's considered microcirculation, and that's where BMR has an impact on 74% of your cardiovascular system. So when your heart beats, it will pump blood into these large vessels. The rest are microvessels. And that will supply these 100,000, uh, I'm sorry, 100 uh, um, uh, quadrillion cells. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I said this wrong right now, but there are enormous amount of cells in our body, and uh, they all need to be fed and uh, cleansed. And this is where we do it. We do it in the capillary beds. And for that, we need to have blood flow into the larger uh, arterioles. It pushes the blood into the uh, into the uh, capillaries. Uh, waste get picked up, so we deliver here and we pick up here, and then it is moved out through the venules back into the large vessels. So 74% of the vessels are uh, small vessels. And when we look at the disturbed microcirculatory flow, we can clearly see here in this video how clumped together the red blood cells are. And this is a study done with uh, younger individuals, they're 25 year old athletes. And uh, uh, here we are seeing the improvement within a two minute period on the beamer. These athletes uh, produce a lot of lactic acid. And uh, for that reason, also the red blood cells can clump. And uh, an athlete to an athlete, it's really highly important to be able to regenerate faster. And you can clearly see how this improves and will lead to the removal of lactic acid much faster than without the application of the beamer. Here, we'll, like in the next slide, we're looking at this side by side. And you can clearly see how stacked this all is and how clearly visible it has improved after only two minutes on the BMR. Now, what are we activating specifically in microcirculation with the BMR? Uh, we are activating vasomotion. And that is the rhythmic relaxation and contraction action in these small vessels, pre and post capillary. So this action uh, takes place in arterioles and venules to push the blood into the capillaries and move it out of the capillaries. And this movement should occur about 30 times per 10 minutes. When we have impaired vasomotion, it could be as much uh, or as low as one time per 10 minutes. And now when you look at the requirement for every cell in your body of oxygen on a regular basis, it takes just about a few minutes. Uh, maybe four or five minutes for cellular tissue to suffer and die because without oxygen our cells will die and not perform anymore. Uh, rhythmically this uh, in, in an animated uh, uh, or in an animation we're looking at vasomotion and uh, so it's a rhythmic expansion and contraction of these small vessels. For instance in a diabetic we may see this only once per 10 minutes 
that's a real, real problem. And um, to look at this in real time, uh, in a uh, uh, in the intestinal area, we are ca we can clearly observe the autorhythmic movement in these small vessels. They're narrowed down, and here as well. And with that, it pressure differentials are created, and blood flow can move in also different directions. You will notice in a second here how the blood flow moves in a completely different direction. This is also based on a stimulation that these vessels receive directly from cells who basically tell the environment, feed me. So here right now, like the, the blood flow direction changed uh, because there were probably stimuli coming from these cells that uh, indicated that blood needs to flow here to deliver nutrients and oxygen and pick up wastes. That is how vasomotion works in a nutshell. So when you're healthy, you have a, a good normal vasomotion, you will have good supply and good drainage. That is necessary for all cells. When you're sick, it is reduced vasomotion, it leads to poor supply and poor drainage and that is detrimental to any state uh, of health in any tissue of your body. So when we are affecting vasomotion, we are having an impact pre-capillary as well as post-capillary and inadvertently as well as in every tissue area. So the whole body benefits from Beamer applications being exposed uh, through a full body applicator where the whole body gets exposed to the Beamer signal and uh, uh, gets this benefit that this vasomotion works and supply and disposal can work again as well. Regeneration of cells is only possible through this function. And here we're looking at a complete obstruction. This is a complete blockage. The Beamer signal is on, so it is penetrating into this area and we are seeing here that it is being reabsorbed into the vet, into the bloodstream, and uh, we can also here watch in, as seconds tick by that clear changes will start to occur in a, in a few seconds. Also down here at the bottom, where everything has broken down and uh, is starting to move, and this clear obstruction that normally would be irreversible is now being removed and dissolved. And this takes place in about one minute and five seconds. And there you have a restored blood flow to an area that was completely obstructed and uh, that have, would have been irreversible. Well, just to show you what I mean with irreversible is a diabetic leg ulcer. This has been in treatment for three years. And we clearly see the discoloration of the whole tissue and broken down tissue and necrotic tissue right here in the center. And I said before irreversible. Well, if this stays irreversible for this person, the only option we have is amputation. Uh, when this person, after three years in, th uh, in treatment, was introduced to the femur, this was possible after one month and after two months. This wound had completely closed and the discoloration is slowly going away from the tissues. So meaning restored microcirculation means that repair takes place, regeneration can take place. But in addition, disturbed microcirculation, in addition to diabetes and poor wound healing, it can also lead to osteoporosis, cardiovascular problems, heart attack, arthritis, stroke, dementia, migraines, pain, organ impairment, all of the above. And in, uh, in my experience here at Regeneration Point, I've seen all of those. Uh, let's look at the active substance and the signal and the rhythm and what makes the Beamer so unique compared to any other pulse electromagnetic device out there. The Beamer signal configuration is an overlay of a multitude of sine waves and uh, before the signal has reached its highest amplitude, uh, one stimulus component had, would have experienced 40 peaks and valleys. And that makes the Beamer signal unique. And it is based um, on a mathematical formula, which is patented. And uh, it cannot be, 
nobody can even come close to this. And so with this 40 stimuli in one beam or signal, uh, we do we can use very low frequencies and as well as a very very low intensity electromagnetic field to have a really powerful impact. And it is this signal configuration, this wave, that the body understands and the body reacts to that. These small vessels react to this specific signal configuration. And the timeline is as well very important and the frequency. So now we have two systems in place where we can observe these emotion. One is a, a larger calibered portion of arterioles and venules where we have a smooth mass muscle contracting rhythmically and that is superior regulated. Then we have a narrowing down into uh, lighter calibered arterioles and venules where we see a vasomotion based on a, a, a nitric oxide gas exchange. And so both these systems do react. When the beamer signal is delivered at 10 hertz, it, they, the larger calibered vessels will react and at 30 hertz, the smaller calibered uh, vessels will re react and so these two systems have to also be re synchronized and the synchronization of both vessel systems uh, moving is also affected with the use of the beamer and by that we push more blood into the capillary beds and move more blood out of the capillary beds. So what are the parameters of improvement in microcirculation? Here are the statistical value changes that are quantifiable, repeatable, and apply to a large random population. We have well over a million users worldwide, and it is always, as long as you have microcirculation, you will see these statistical uh, value changes possible. The Beamer direct impact is on vasomotion, and that improves by a rate of 27%, which then increase the blood flow into the capillary beds, and that increases by up to 29%, and venous return, meaning we're taking out more of the waste that may have accumulated over months or sometimes even years, will improve by 31%, and oxygen utilization improves by 29%, and that means your body will it produce more ATP, it will function better, and the ability to get back into homeostasis is enhanced. We can thank this man uh, that we know about the Beamer, what we know today. Uh, this is Professor Dr. Rainer Klopp. He is the head of the Institute of Microcirculation in Berlin, Germany. And he is the person who has technology at hand that allows him to observe in real time whether any stimulus has an impact on these small vessels. And this is how we know that the Beamer does stimulate this emotion. And it was a, a, really a coincidence that he came across this device as he had been tasked by the German government in conjunction with the International Geriatric uh, Organization to find something to help the elderly improve their blood flow because we know aging will slow down anything including basal motion and uh, dealing with the baby boomer generation also governments are interested in uh, cutting health care costs. So he was tasked uh, to look at different options for the improvement of, of blood flow in this area and he looked at very, a variety of modalities including pulse electromagnetic devices and whatever was known to him at that time was improving blood flow anywhere between 5 to 10 percent. And uh, uh, looking at these uh, electromagnetic devices of which Beamer was one, he noticed that there was some improvement going on but not really of therapeutic value in his mind. It was improving blood flow anywhere with 5, 6, 7 percent. And the Beamer, and by the way, also none of these devices improved uh, um, or stimulated vasomotion. And uh, the Beamer, however, he was able to observe that the smaller colored vessels, pre and post capillary, started moving again. And the improvement in blood flow was around 15%. So that was even more than was what, what was known to him before. And he contacted the company and asked for more devices to do, uh, to do more studies with them to find whether this is actually something of a fluke or has validity scientifically. And with uh, the improvement of the signal configuration, we today have a much, much improved signal. 
But also another uh, thing that is very noticeable is the BMR impact on the immune system. White blood cells need to roll and adhere along the blood vessel wall to detect stimuli. If there is a pathogen in the tissues, which the stimuli will cause them to transmigrate and then swallow up the, engulf the pathogen and then render the pathogen useless and go back into the bloodstream and continue their work. They only will receive the stimuli if they are rolling and adhering along the blood vessel wall. And for that purpose, I want to show you a video where this is very observable. So initially, this is a four sequence video. Initially, you will see a very, very stuck blood flow and hardly any perfusion into the capillary. This is from a chronically stressed person. Uh, it is taken in the colon. And uh, initially, when you are watching this video, I want you to uh, pay attention to the left side where we see what happens or how a clot starts forming in the, in the capillary. And that has something to do that a capillary only can hold one blood cell, red blood cell at a time. And here they are so stuck. And when too many squeeze in at the same time, a clot starts forming. That's just the start of it. And then it will just keep on piling up. Now we have turned on the beamer and the person is now about a, a couple of minutes on, on this device and we clearly see that the clot is gone and uh, blood is flowing into the capillary while this still looks kind of stagnant here and here. That will change also within the next few minutes on the beamer and it is clearly visible in this next sequence. In addition, you can now also observe the role and adhesion behavior of these white blood cells. That is our police. This will keep us uh, from, from invaders, from pathogens taking over our body, leading to infection. So this is a good role and adhesion behavior in our white blood cells. And uh, this improvement is, uh, can lead to dramatic, dramatic health benefits for anybody to stay healthy. And uh, this is after BEMA. This is within a two-minute period after the application has stopped. And this is still improved. And this effect lasts 12 to 16 hours. When you look at the uh, effect from before or the contrast from before and after, and you imagine that in someone's problem area, well, this is certainly very, very poor blood flow. And this is the effect for after an eight minute application and it will last 12 to 16 hours. That's quite remarkable. We have two sets that make that possible in our body. Uh, the BMR Classic set is 4,290. It comes with the B Box Classic, the B Body Classic, and the B Spot. The B Body Classic is the full body applicator. The B Spot is a very localized, targeted round applicator. Um, I, we have some people that uh, will will opt for this device due to uh, part, sometimes uh, uh, poor eyesight because they can feel the push buttons here and. Uh, um, also, sometimes people that are alone, they don't see the necessity to spend more money or they don't have to share anything. However, we have uh, the Beamer Pro set, and this device is 5,990. And in contrast to the Beamer Classic, uh, which can only handle one applicator at a time, this device can handle any of these four applicators, I'm sorry, any of the two applicators of the four applicators. Uh, at the same time with completely independent settings. The Bema Pro comes with the B Body Pro, the B Spot, and in addition also the B Pad, which is a rectangular bell-shaped local applicator, and also the B Light. In this case, we're utilizing an LED red light and penetrating only into the layers of skin and uh, improving microcirculation here. So it also has, in addition to any skin, issues that someone may have, also a wonderful beauty application. And uh, so for a clinical setting, this is certainly a device that most of our doctors opt for, but also families that have it at home where multiple people are in the family and wanting to use it and they don't want to fight over the devices um, are opting to, for the Beamer Pro as it allows you to run two applicators. On the touch, t at touch, uh, touch screen screen, 
um, we can also clearly see all the local application running and so there is more functionality with this device. Uh, here we see a beauty application with the Beamer light and then we also have a wonderful um, applicator as it's, it is an accessory that is $590 and uh, it is very ideal for people who are not mobile, who are stuck in wheelchairs. So they can just put this behind them, they can uh, sit on it. It obviously has to be attached to the B box. And also people who are sitting at desk jobs, who are just do, just do not get enough movement, will have see a great benefit from the use of the B set. The Beamer comes with a three-year warranty and a lifelong system updates. Uh, we have very, uh, a lot of custom events all throughout the United States, a technical service center to support and uh, a, a personal close, close, uh, close support from all the distributors. And we are in well over 50 countries by now. Uh, this is being my headquarters in Liechtenstein. Uh, the, the product is manufactured there and uh, uh, we are now 17 years in business. We are well published in many medical publications, popular publications. We hold five patents worldwide, well over a mu million users worldwide. And uh, it was engineered and uh, invented by Germans and yet to put together by mostly Swiss who work at this facility. I want to show you briefly uh, some other cases where you can clearly see the impact a Beamer can have. Here we're looking at acne. In, uh, during puberty, most kids will get pimples and some get uh, really a severe situation with full-fledged acne. This is only 14 days into the use of the Beamer and that can make such an emotional impact for a young person to have healthier looking skin and not being teased anymore. Uh, we're looking here at a severe case of psoriasis. Uh, all over the back side here, really raw spots all over, and this is only 15 days with the use of the Beamer. Uh, eczema, on before Beamer, very raw and uh, open, and uh, a day into the Beamer use, and a second day into the Beamer use, and we're looking at already much improvement. Uh, a diabetic toe ulcer. Here we're looking at a case that was scheduled for amputation. And uh, here, right here in the center, the center toe has a com totally necrotic, complete uh, um, uh, dead tissue. And we can also see that complete stasis is going on. So cutting off right here uh, would not be feasible uh, to be able to sustain healing in an even greater wound. So uh, the cutting always goes to a place where there is sufficient supply of blood to affect healing. And uh, now we're looking at uh, the foot eight weeks post-surgery. Yes, the center toe had to be taken, but what a dramatic uh, change from having to take a whole foot of, to losing only one toe and keeping a foot intact. Diabetes also can have an impact on the eyes, and here we're looking at a, a situation with inflammation in the retina, and uh, that is constitute a big problem for a lot of diabetic people who can also go blind because of this situation. We see a lot of wonderful results. Uh, we have uh, a lot of eye doctors who have embraced this technology now who are seeing wonderful results with these types of situation. This is two months and nine months later where hardly any, uh, any uh, inflammation is visible anymore. And uh, one thing about the retina, the retina is one of the tissues in our body that has the highest mo uh, metabolic need. So the rapid fire activity of these cells requires a substantial faster supply uh, as well as disposal uh, to, and, uh, to and away from the tissues. And so if you don't have that, you see inflammation and that is a, the constitute a big problem. Herpes zoster, that's the virus that causes shingles. Here's before Beamer, quite swollen and very painful. It can also lead to body-wide neuralgia. After three days only with the Beamer, the inflammation, the swelling is down, and uh, also pain will subside in this in the circumstance. Uh, here we're looking at a fractured femur, and this was a complete break, and it was a 16-year-old who had then to be immobilized after the surgery. 
so four, four weeks post-surgery, after Im being immobilized, we do not see calcification right here in this area. Now, another four weeks later, with the use of the Beamer, so eight weeks post-surgery, we are seeing complete calcification, and that means healing has taken place. This person was mountain biking and had a horrific accident, nice face plant, and uh, healing takes place with the Beamer in a really dramatic way when you look at him at only 12 days later. This is a really, really dramatic change. Uh, in Europe, we have the Beamer even in use in incubators in some hospital. You can see right here, we're looking at actually the Beamer 3000 Plus. This is the older model from what we have today. Today we have Beamer Pro and Beamer Classic. And uh, now we uh, it is such an easy application. It is only twice a day for eight minutes. However, we also have an integrated night program with our Beamer Pro and Classic. Uh, one thing to understand that the, during the uh, phase of activity during the day, muscular skeletal tissues, stomach and brain, the, so the upper digestive tract has more demand for supply and disposal because of its activities. Uh, now we're going to bed and we go to rest. Now the areas where, we, where the body now detoxifies, repairs and regenerates has a greater demand. And for that to happen, we need to redistribute blood into the areas of the liver, kidneys, intestines, skin, and pancreas. So all of these activity areas need to be supplied more, and that can only take place when you have good sleep. With Beamer, you will ex enhance the quality of sleep. You will see a much, much more enhanced regeneration phase, and detoxification and deacidification can take place as well with the Beamer sleep program. Beamer not only has an impact on a, uh, humans, animals have microcirculation as well, and this animal for sure is enjoying their Beamer session right on top of their owner. Here you see the owner's feet and the head up there, and this little puppy is enjoying his Beamer session. Uh, a quick uh, description of a dog that has demodectic mange. This dog was adopted in this, in this stage uh, shortly before being put down. And uh, so the mites take over and uh, kill the follicles and the, and the hair falls out and creating lots of sores. So when this dog shook, uh, the blood was splattering off the body. And this is only 12 days later. Hair is already growing back and this little puppy here has a new lease on life. I mentioned already before from the blood flow video that I showed about the study we've done with athletes, but whole Olympic teams have embraced Beamer because with Beamer they see faster regeneration, which is highly important in sports. They see faster healing as well, highly important in sports. And uh, so Beamer has become quite a favorite in Europe and whole soccer teams are using it in very well-known athletes all over the world. I want to mention a couple of uh, physicians here in the United States that are, um, have uh, been known for their specialties. Of, uh, for instance, Dr. Klinghardt, he's a Lyme specialist who has a clinic right here in the state of Washington outside of Seattle. Um, his assessment of the Beamer is that he completely trusts it. It's one of his most valuable tools in his practice as well as uh, personally and uh, they use it daily helping people with microcirculatory issues, reducing inflammation, pain for detoxification, stress release, athletic recovery. But he also sees the value and benefit that a whole family in home use can have. Dr. Bernie Siegel is a well-known oncologist and also assesses the Beamer in a very similar light. Uh, he has been using the Beamer for a while, is already pleased with the overall results, at more energy, of sense of physical and emotional well-being, and uh, he assesses it as well that uh, in cancer treatments and other disease treatments, it could be a very, very helpful tool. And now we will also have uh, Beamer in space in the future. Beamer and NASA have signed a contract, a Space Act agreement, allowing NASA to utilize this technology in space and the future uh, undergarments of spacesuits as well as pre- and post-flight because in space astronauts uh, experience 
a real problem with fluid distribution that can lead to a, a high degree of muscle atrophy and bone loss in a very, very short period of time. And for that purpose, they had been using pulse electromagnetic fields with a very simple square wave. And so now, uh, with after they have had evaluated and vetted this technology that we have with Beamer, uh, they opted to utilize that and signed a space act agreement with a last minute sentence added that uh, um, a new study in space on microcirculation they want to include this technology. So recap, all your cellular function depends that the exchanges take place. Nutrients and oxygen need to be delivered and waste products need to be removed for our bodies to achieve homeostasis. It's as simple as that. And that only can occur if we have this rhythmic movement pre-capillary as well as post-capillary. Vasomotion is here the key. When our heart beats and pumps blood into the large vessels uh, and that would stop, well, that it would mean the end of us. If this stops here and here, it just is a slow death for our cells. And uh, like I said, every cellular function in your body will depend on that. For mental clarity, our immune system functioning, sex, pain, healing, regeneration, you name it. Everything depends that these exchanges occur. And it can only occur with good vasomotion. And this is exactly where the Vima shines. It's a singular technology that has an impact here. And while you cannot get younger, you can certainly feel younger. <laughs>